Hi friends, my name is Borro Dante and welcome back to the Outlandish Curiosity. Now we're back to our pages 3 and 4, and we've got ourselves a new reference for Neil and Gilbert. Now this is not what you've seen in the recent episode of testing Design Doll, because I actually used different proportions like closer to real male. This is what we've got in the end of that episode, but I changed it to some more of a manly stuff. And that's because I followed my own advice in the blooper of that episode and I just didn't close the program. <laughs> so I just prepared a new reference before starting filming right now. Anyway, let's actually use the reference. So I don't know, let's probably convert this into some sort of outline so it would be able to easily overlay on top and not be a huge obstacle for us to work with the colors. So let's use a filter. So here we have it some kind of a very subtle overlay effect. I used the filter called High Pass. It works amazingly together with overlay mode for the layer because it just makes these tiny glowing kind of effects around all the edges on the image and everything else basically stays untouched, so it's kind of cool. Okay, let's see, we have a pretty complex work ahead of us, so I probably should shut up for a little while and make sure I don't make another mistake with the anatomy, although it's kind of hard to do that with a reference. But let's not underestimate my stupidity! Okay, so I created a bunch of layers with different color spots that represent different materials on Gilbert. And I went back and forth between the layers using their alpha to quickly add the lighting without thinking about the edges. So this is a quick and cool way to start the thinking process, the search but not a great way to put details on and actually think through the way close should act, react on the way Gilbert is standing. So the jacket is kind of lame right now, it looks like it's made of rubber. But what I'm really happy about is the way the light turned out. I added a very strong, exaggerated, reflected light from the sand, this juicy color that's coming from everywhere. Should work a bit more on the jacket with that though. I love the way it works on the face, on the pants, on the hands. Looks really cool. So this is a cool, tiny, yet very awesome addition to that whole graphical style of the universe that we've talked about before. I said it would be cool to add more of a juicy shadows for everything so everything would look more fable-like and positive, but exaggerated reflected light, that's what's really amazing looking and I think that's gonna be like a super cool beauty render. It's kind of maintained on the uh, close-up crab. Might work a bit stronger in that, but not necessary. It looks fabulous as it is, I think we all agree. But Gilbert looks really cool with all this thing. Now, I'll add a couple more details with the stuff hanging off Gilbert's neck, and then we'll merge everything together and start actually work with a free brush. Being able to modify everything in one layer is gonna be a lot more artistic, so can't wait to do that. But for now, let's move on with a bit of extra thinking on the light and the things on the neck. I gotta say, I love the way potato brush works. It's like the best. It's fast, it's super natural looking. I really love creating shapes with potato brush. Seriously, try it out if you're into this kind of stuff.
Okay, I think it's time to merge all the layers on Gilbert. So this is a one piece of a thing now. It's time for some hardcore action. But first, let's save. <laughs> Okay, are we mostly done? Kinda hard to tell after such a hardcore process. I guess I forgot about this little thing. Hmm. Wow, it actually doesn't look horrible when mirrored. Now, I remember two things Kevin asked me to add and fix. The eyes on the big crab look too cartoonish. Fair enough. So we'll add some realistic details to it, maybe realistic rendering. And secondly, let's add a little bit of moving sand, like the sandy wind going around here, to add some motion to the thing. Let's try anyway. Well, kind of like that. I don't know. Let's add a bit more over the further located crabs. Alright. Now let's work on the eyes for the bigger crab. Okay, I think this looks pretty real now, with a whole bunch of new details. Before... After. Right? This is what it needed, kind of a bit more tiny material details. Some extra something to make it look actually alive. So there we go. And Gilbert still looks pretty cool, even after resting my eyes from him for a little while. Maybe I'll add some tiny accurate details later, but outside of the episode. In general, I think we pretty much nailed it this time. Less compared to the previous version. The one that's missing a leg. Oh boy. Yeah, this seems a bit more legit. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. We'll continue working on the next pages, hopefully tomorrow. I'm really happy to get back to the series. We're gonna actually paint a lot now. It's been a while. So yeah, friends, tell me what you think about Gilbert and new crab's eyes. About this new idea with the light. What do you think about the reflected juicy lights? I think it works really awesomely. So this is it, and I thank you for watching if you did, I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe, tell a friend, let the spice flow, do whatever you want, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.